I let go, you will fall, and death will be your end. Hold your life, dear. You are a lot more vulnerable than you can imagine. Uh, quit threatening me! It's a river down there! Yes, but you don't know how shallow it is. Even a lantern can't float on it. It's dying, unlike the other branches you saw outside the city. So what? Does that explain why you captured me? Fine. The river is dying. I'm held by a birdman in mid-air. I'll fall and die if I struggle. There's nothing I can do. Yes. It's a rare wisdom for a girl of your age to know her limits. But I'm not a bird man. I'm a Yao. My name is Ge Tian. You can use arcane skills. You're an arcanist. If you say so, then it is so. We have gone for miles. I'll leave you here. Beyond the fort, you will see the step. I don't understand. What on earth is your purpose? Why did you turn humans into horses? I believe you could commit much worse crimes if you want to. Are you doing it for fun? The more you ask, the more mistakes you make. There is no such thing as a wrong question. I will answer one of the questions regarding why I turned people into horses. The answer is I didn't do it. Neither did I have that intention. <laughs> Interesting. Who did it then? The lady owner of the tavern. Junangzi? Precisely. If that's the case, why did you leave Madame Bismitz there alone? Do you really think I would buy your nonsense after I saw you take my teammates away? You saw the horse in the yard, with the red tail and red mane, did you not? Yes, I saw th It's not a horse, it's a Lu Shu, or at least it looks like one. Lu Shu. I have never heard of it before. It sounds like an arcane creature native to the east. It is a Lu Shu, and also Jiu Niangzi herself. What? That thing is Jiu Nangsi? What you saw tonight was not real Lu Shu. Those horses merely resembled half of them. I speak of the fact that Jiu Niangzi might be a Lu Shu, a kind of Yao, or as you would put it, an arcane creature. <sighs> Your words sound even more complicated than those in the city. Is it because you are also an arcane creature, like the Lu Shu? Or you have a thing only the pure-blooded can understand? We're nothing alike. Lu Shus are Xiang Rays, born with red manes and white faces, covered with tiger's markings. In the books, Lu Shus are capable of casting arcane skill named the Shape of Will. It could be the same skill that Jiu Niangzi uses to turn others into Lu Shus. Do you understand? E yes, I'll try. The Shape of Will is a dangerous and secret skill. As written in the books, 
The Lushus use it to transform blood into fire and stone into gold. So, it's like alchemy. I'm unfamiliar with what you said, but Jonyang's power seems to be restricted. She cannot fully transform into a Lushu like a Yao could, nor does she possess great power. She's closer to a half Yao. Unlike other Lushus, she requires a certain medium to cast her skill, the shape of will. This is also why people did not recognize her. She's harder to identify. Chuneng Si, Half Yao. Is that another name for the mixed blood? Anyway, even if you're telling the truth, how did you know that? It is within my bloodline. Like you find your direction through the water, I read people through their bones. Uh, how did you know my... Wait, you mean you can read people through their bones? That makes no sense. What can one's physical condition tell you? Many. Many stories. Many sounds. Even if I was never there with them. Such as you. The markings on your bones resemble an open net, yet it captures nothing. You are away from the waterless land where you once lived, and to this day you are still wandering. What? You will travel far many times in life and turn homeward, like the migratory birds. Until you find your lake. What on earth are you talking about? Have I mistaken anything? I should hope not. Forgive me. I have long since stopped reading others' bones and put them into words. Perhaps I did not tell it in the most precise way, but it should be generally accurate. I need some time to digest your words. Careful. once in the street. Have you drunk the liquor? Offered by Zhou Niangzi? No, but I had the water from her. Why? These Zhu Ye might be attracted here by the scent of liquor. They feed on the flowers of Zhu Ye, which can be used to make liquor and smell of lees. They could be here because they smell the liquor. But you only have water. What else could attract them? If they were attracted by the scent of liquor, I think it was the wooden doll's fault. They soaked themselves in the liquor before they attacked me. I might have gotten their scent during the battle. The scent of liquor stands is not strong enough to attract them here. It would have taken a proper consumption of liquor for them to notice. I worry that liquor is the medium for her transformation skill. But that is only my speculation. If the water you drank also exerts the same effect on you. Uh, um. What? 
You. How so? Find anything. Someone was here. Seems like a horse with a female, tall and thin. Not a horse, but a foal. Look carefully. The footsteps are smaller and shallower than a horse's. Where are the end of the tracks? The river beach ahead. The track stopped three meters away. We couldn't tell where they went. That can't be. It rained a couple of times. The rain could have washed away the footprints. If that's the case, there shouldn't be other tracks here. <laughs> like this. A bird's claw marks at the edge of the rotten wood. It was a bird of prey, and judging from the size and the sharpness, it's quite strong. It's true. Hey, I found another two sets of footprints. They're shallow and narrow, possibly from the same person, a young woman. The wood lies on the ground near the river. It's not a good spot for birds of prey to roost on. What stopped here was something even bigger. A young woman met a huge bird of prey here, yet there is no blood stain at all. Perhaps the truth behind the foreign merchant's disappearance is different from the feather man's statement. We need to go back to the Jitsu. Too late. So it seems her tea can also transform people. I must report this to the authorities. Stay here. also left in that tavern. But should I return, Jonyons might be alerted. I sense kindness in that girl. She hasn't done anything evil except for turning people into Lucius. Your friend should be safe with her for the moment. The more urgent matter is to spread the word before she further repeats her mistake. I must go find someone to handle this properly. case now. You'll be turning yourself in if you go alone. I see. 
The world outside the mountains is indeed not meant for me to step into. But you are already involved. Besides, we gave Lejeune a drawing of you when I was not clear of the truth. No matter. I will reason with him. Even so, you will need me there. Look at my arcane skill. It will be the best proof, right? So they will know that Junang Si is the real culprit who turned the people into horses. I mean, blue shoes. If that really needed. You need to know that you are a suspect. Even though I know you are innocent, you need something absolutely persuasive to prove it. All in all, you must take me with you. My arcane skill will vindicate you. <laughs>